My name is Maya. I'm a student at CSUMB and a service learner for the Monterey County Free Libraries. In today's STEAM time video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make these rainbow flowers um, as seen here. I still need to let mine sit out for a little bit longer, but um, they are definitely different colors than just white. Um, so yeah, this should be pretty fun. I will be also giving you guys like ideas and like suggestions on like how you guys can tweak the experiment and make it your own and just to see what different outcomes are. So uh, with that said, let's get started. So the materials you'll need for this experiment is a little jar or cup to hold your water and the flowers. Of course, your flowers, make sure that they're white or at least a really like um, pale or light color like pastel, just so you can see the colors like actually shine through. Uh, roses work best, like I said, um, and uh, gardenias. But for this video, I'm just going to be using roses and baby's breath. And I'm also going to be using one of the like roses from the bouquet that I made uh, a while back with the blue coloring. And for this video or for this experiment, I'm going to be using um, pink color instead. So we're going to see what happens with this. Um, and you're supposed to use food dye, but I don't have food dye on me. So I'm going to repurpose this old Crayola marker and uh, just use the contents to dye the 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 cup. So all we're going to do is, um, and this is honestly just a pretty easy alternative as well. So I'm just going to cut the, like, I, I don't know, the tube in half. And you can already see like all the ink like spilling out on the scissors. And then I'm just going to <laughs> plop the, the tubes inside the water and just let it sit for a little bit um, just to really like color the, the water and make it really vibrant so that the the flowers will be vibrant as well so let me just wait a couple seconds and let this sit this experiment will take at least a day to see results so just keep that in mind this is like something that you just leave out for a little bit so i've let my um solution mix for just a couple minutes and let it set and now we're going to cut down our flowers and just place it into the little cup that we have here um so i just picked up you know just like a little standard rose um all i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it at a diagonal angle like so take off the leaf and literally just plop it in here <laughs> that's pretty much it um try to make yours you know be able to like stay afloat on top of the water but um, I am curious to see what will happen to this one in particular to see if it'll be more vibrant and if it'll suck up more color. Um, but yeah, this is good for now. And then you're just going to, really, you can just make yourself a little bouquet and just see what happens. So I'm going to add the um, blue rose in there too. And then I'm going to add my baby's breath. And you can really just size it down for baby's breath because the stem is so small you don't really have to cut it at an angle um you could just put like cut it to size and then just place it inside the cup Alrighty, so this is what we're working with right now you can kind of see the baby's breath on top and what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this sit for i don't know for a day and then we'll get back to it and see what it looks like so just a little update on how our flowers are doing it's literally been an hour and i'm starting to see like a little bit of pink coming through um if you look closely at this flower you'll kind of see that it's a little purple and that wasn't like that before so i am very excited to see how it's going to affect the rest of the flowers because these these three or these two oh well, yeah three these three flowers right here um these have been sitting in a separate solution for like i'd say like 12 hours so these have been marinating on their own so they have been doing their own stuff and these the rest of the flowers are untouched so i am curious to see how this is going to affect our little experiment so the science behind this little experiment our rainbow flowers is the water is getting sucked up by the stems because the stems are very fibrous actually the entire flower is pretty fibrous and once we get to the bulb of the flower of the rose um there's a lot of like little tiny veins and i don't know if you guys can see that but since it's so much more compact and smaller than the rest of the stem the stem is pretty fibrous but it's still pretty evenly spaced it's pretty, pretty spaced out so all of the water is easily able to like travel up the stem and into the like the actual flower 
but once it gets all the way up here some of the coloring gets left behind because it's too um too big to pass through the, like the flower so yeah this is what we're working with i ended up adding some extra color to the flowers because for some reason it just wasn't showing up at all it was very faint so i added some a couple extra drops of coloring and i can tell that the flowers are already starting to get a little bit more darker um so hopefully yeah so hopefully we'll actually start to see some real results here is the final product of today's experiment um i left in total i've left these flowers sitting for almost 24 hours and this is kind of where they're at right now i honestly feel like i could leave them for a little bit longer and they would be a little bit darker um but yeah j i just wanted you guys to be able to actually see like the colors show up on the flowers um i'm a little bit disappointed though because the baby's breath there is like a little bit of like a pinkish hue but there's still a lot of them are like still pretty white i don't know why that is maybe it's because i used marker ink for them but um again like the the blue ones i used i used like a crayola marker and they came out really nice um but these ones i don't know maybe it's just because how much water i put there's a lot of different factors that that take into account of this um but anyways I'm, i really hope you guys enjoyed this video um thank you guys so much for tuning in and until next time